How are you, everybody who is watching this video? My name is uh, Ole Jolai Moko Tayelo Singo from beautiful, fantastic country, mm -hmm. the Republic of Tanzania. I would like to take this chance to welcome you in our online platform, which is called Tanzania Online Ordinary Secondary School, in the square bracket of Jolai M. Simultaneously, I also to like to take this opportunity to welcome you into one of our YouTube channels that's called Tanzania Online or Level City School, in the square bracket. So there is no M, okay? So you make this uh, initial sign in M. Okay, so I would like to remind you uh, quickly about the divisions of this online school so that we can go through the session. First of all, before even uh, I, I, I give you the I remind you about the vision of these platforms of this school, I would like to welcome you as a front former. You are only welcome, whether you are from Swahili medium or from English medium, you are only welcome, or from any of your national medium, possibly that, maybe from Kikuyu medium, so from any other of the language, as well as all Baganda, and etc., etc., etc. So you are only welcome, and we are very happy to have you. We are here in order to help you as well as we can in the process of your journey of learning. So the vision we have in these online schools, which is for ordinary school, is we like to incubate some of the students who will be ready to take the classroom instruction uh, in science subjects, in mathematics, and also combining with the knowledge of the spiritual knowledge of the word of God in order to solve real life problems. So the real life problems are uh, basically real life problems intermediate real life problems uh, and the even advanced real life problems. So because we will learn about basic science and basic mathematics, so we believe that you can use the knowledge and combine the knowledge of the word of God that which will be teaching you in some of our, our other online schools uh, for the spiritual knowledge of the word of God so that you can solve a real life of your life, at least from your family in your family, in your parents' sides, and even also in your spirit or in your village. So that's the main vision. We have some specific objective. One will be helping you to understand physics, chemistry, possibly later on to knowledge, and basic mathematics from form one to form four. Secondly, we'll be helping you to pass all your continuous assessment in uh, testing, medium testing. Terminal exams, annual exams, and even mock exams, net exams. Thirdly, we'll be helping you to graduate successful. You are certificate is secondary education examination exams and having a certificate which will, will be give you the confirmations that you are graduate of ordinary secondary level. But fourthly, we'll be teaching you to think it differently because I think differently and I'm going to teach you to think it differently. So, same also, we would like to welcome you into one of our departments of physics. And the subject of the day is physics, and this is the contents for the class, for the Form 1 or Class 9 in some of the countries. So, because our focus will be using the syllabus of the United Republic of Tanzania, and you have to refer, uh, you have to recall this the quick review. Quick review. Uh, we mean that because we'll be using two languages, we mean that Marudio. Okay, so Maria, so we have uh, to review the one of the sessions which is still in our YouTube channel. That's called the session zero zero, which is called the, the general introduction, general introduction, general introduction of what? General introduction, introduction of what? Of uh, physics for one. Okay. For one, so it's a session of one hour for one, and then this written F1. So you can search this video on YouTube search engine in square bracket. Also, you have to include the Olegolai as my unique identification. So we'll be using the syllabus of Net Republic of Tanzania, as I said. So in Tanzania, we are in form one. The government and even the private or any schools enroll students from two types of schools, from English medium and Swahili medium. 
right? What does it mean? In this medium, they learn their primary education or fundamental education in English for all the subjects except in Swahili. In Swahili medium, they learn all the subjects, all the 60 subjects uh, in, in Swahili, except in one subject which is called English, which is even it's a little bit difficult. Myself, or historically or originally, I did my primary education in Swahili medium. So I know that it's a, it's, it's a great challenge to change from Swahili language into English language. So that's why that for all the three subjects, best mathematics for man, best ma uh, physics for man, and chemistry for man, I'm going to teach it by using two languages. So for those who didn't understand uh, what I've been saying, especially my friends who are from Swahili mediums, I would like to repeat these introductions in Swahili. Habari za saizi, ndugu mtazamaji na mtazama kipindi hiki cha soma na physics. Napenda kuchukua na fasi hii kukaribisha katika shule ya elimu mtandaoni inayitua Tanzania Online Ordinary Secondary School katika mabano kolejolari. Na pia kuna YouTube channel yetu ambayo inayitua Tanzania Online Olevo Seki School na ambayo kwa ni mabano inaitua olejolari. Napenda kukumusha maono ambayo tunayo olejolari katika uh, shule hii ya kwenye mtandao. Maono makubwa ni kwamba niko uh, na tamani kuweza kuwalea au kuwafundisha uh, baadhi wanafunzi, si yani kama wote kama tupata neema kuwafundisha wote ni sala, lakini baadhi wanafunzi ambao uh, wana maono katika hisabati na science na pia kitu kikubwa ambacho nitakacho hapa au nitakacho jitahidi kuwajenga ndani yao na namna gani ya kuambatanisha elimu ya darasani katika masomo ya science na isabati pamoja na elimu ya ufalme wa mbinguni au elimu ya neno la Mungu ili kuweza kutatua matatizo halisi kwenye jamii wanayotoka hao wanafunzi kwa sababu ndio nia kubwa ya kwenda shule hii. Lengo kuu wana wanafunzi wetu wakiwa wanaendelea kusoma na tutakwama mpaka cha 4 wanatatua matatizo kwa kutumia ujuzi wanaopata darasani na hata baada ya kumaliza kipata nafasi ya kuendelea na diploma au yaani manake na stashahada kwa nafasi ya kuendelea pia na uh, elimu ya kazi ya juu ambayo inaitwa advanced education sawa lakini wakati wakiwa naendelea lakini wanaweza wakatumia maarifa hii waliopata katika uh, manake shule za kati ambayo inaitwa online secondary education ili kuweza kutatua matatizo mbalimbali kwa hiyo kwa nia hiyo au kwa sababu hiyo uh, napenda kukaribisha na na hapo nisikie tu furaha na nisikie amani kwa jinsi kwamba kwa 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 kuna topic nyingi sana au kuna mada nyingi ambazo tutakazozisoma kwenye masomo ya matatu ambapo utakuwa unafundisha Kiswahili, Kiingereza lakini ninachokuomba wanafunzi kwamba naomba uwe uwe makini sana katika mambo kuna kujifunza kwa sababu tukifika nikikufikisha ifika na unafundisha pia kidato cha pili masomo haya ya matatu lakini kwa lugha ya Kiingereza peke yake si msomomsi Kiswahili hata kidogo japo ndio. Kwa hiyo nikiendatumia mwaka huu wa kwanza kujifunza Kiingereza na kubadilisha vile vitu vilivyosoma shule ya msingi kutoka kwenye lugha ya Kiswahili kuja katika lugha ya Kiingereza. Kiingereza sio kigumu na tuendelee tu kwamba kwa pamoja pia huenda katika siku za mbeleni nikakutangazia kwamba nitaanza kufundisha pia Kiingereza kwa wale ambao hawajui kama mimi na mimi kutoka shule ya msingi kwenda sekondari kwa sababu ya Kiingereza kabisa. Kwa hiyo kwa wakati mgumu sana. Kwa hiyo basi ah tuna idara tatu katika shule hii, tuna idara ya fizikia, idara ya kemia na idara ya hisabati. Na leo tuko katika idara ya fizikia, somo la fizikia kwa ina kidato cha kwanza au class au darasa la tisa. Okay. Sasa kuna kitu cha au kuna somo ambalo nimeshafundisha la utangulizi kuhusiana na tunafanya nini unajiungaje na hii shule unatakiwa kufanya subscriptions unawaambiaje watu wanafunzi wengine ambao unawajua unaotaka wazifaike kwa hiyo kwenye session sefuri sefuri ambayo inaitwa general introductions of physics form 1 maana yake kwamba utangulizi wa jumla wa somo la fizikia kidato cha kwanza afu ni mabano na lengo lake kwa hiyo ukienda katika youtube search engine ukienda katika channel hii youtube channel hii maana katika admission katika chombo hiki cha habari cha kumtandao 
unaweza ukapata hizi somo na nakushauri uweze kujifunza hili somo kabla haujaja katika hili somo la leo ambalo sasa nakuchukua katika ngazi nyingine okay kama una maswali unaweza kauliza kwenye comment section hapa na kuna kwa comment section bonyeza pale alafu unaweza kauliza maswali yako kadi ambazo unao endelea kwa kama nilivyosema soma afurisha chapter cha kwanza tutumia lugha mbili Kiingereza, Kiswahili ila maandishi yote naandika kwa Kiingereza. Saa ili kuanza kufundisha. Ila kikubwa ninachokuambia kwamba uh, masomo ya sayansi na hisabati ya kidato cha kwanza ni marudio ya vitu ulivyosoma darasa la 5, darasa la 6 na darasa la 7 ila kwa lugha ya nini? Ya Kiingereza. Saa. Okay. So let us continue. So let us go uh, kwenye hii quick review kwenye haya marudio I spoke I, I presented to you first of all about vision of the school this in short you can call it T O O proposal proposal means Tanzania online all level secondary school in square bracket in orange or hand. so that's what I've explained but also I've explained that uh, how you can get how you can be regis- registration I explained to you about registration registration what he, or into it or also okay and then uh, in that video I've explained to you about the, uh, how we call it in uh, the big picture for the big picture of science like a picture of the science Lafo, Pia, I've explained to you about the reference book physics reference books and material okay after, and then also explain to you about the uh, after uh, reference books, we say that uh, textbooks, question books. I'll explain to you also about uh, another thing which is topics of form one. Topics of physics in, of physics in, of form one. Okay, of form one. So I explain to you about it, how you can get registered, you should have an email, etc. Or give it a bit of map and you also see a video here. Yeah, session zero zero Maruiko has opened back. So let us go to the today's sessions, weekly session or period one. Right? So this is session one or period one. So I can continue with this level here. Okay. So this is period one. Okay. So we say that let me start. Branches. Branches. Manake. Okay. Branches of forty, branches of science. In case you find that I'm teaching you quickly, you can stop. You can revise this video several times. So, you want to come and finish a raka, and that's what I'm video here, my name, Baka Wele, Kilem Chokana finish. So, we say that there are three, there are three branches. Kuna matai mapatu, the science, ila science, and bolo kometo kanayo, and so much you have seen. There are three branches of science, say science. Uh, three branches. So there are three branches of 40 of science. Okay? These are, so these branches are, the first branch of science, we call it physics. Say physics. Okay? The second branch of science, we call it chemistry. Say chemistry. Say chemistry. Say physics. Say chemistry. And the third branch of science, we call it biology. Say biology. Okay, so in Swahili physics, we call it in physikia. Okay, in Swahili chemistry, we call it in chemia. Okay, and then in Swahili biology, we call it in biology. Okay, so we'll be defining each subject. What are defined? What are seen in mana physikia, in mana chemistry, in mana biology. All for purpose, should have seen we look at some of the science, and we have to look at some of the Fizikia, kemia, biology. So, unapofika, uh, unapofika sekundari, unake unanza kuanza sa ku, ku hae masome ya nakuwa ya nagyawanyika katika makudi matatu, unakuwa na masome matatu, nani ya somo na science. Kwa somo na kwanza naitwa nini? Fizikia, pili, kemia, matatu, biology. So, you have three subjects. So, when you have been in, uh, in primary education, you have been learning general science. We call it fundamental science or basic science. Okay, so when you reach to the uh, ordinary secondary education, the subject of science is divided into three branches. So it, uh, it means that it is the, the subject of science in the primary 
gives us three subjects of science in ordinary level. That's called the physics, chemistry, and biology. All right? Good news in this channel or in these programs, I'm going to teach you physics, chemistry. From the first topic, it is the last topic, from one to form four, from one to form four. Keep on praying, possibly I'm going to teach you biology from one to form four. But in German, Kwamba, the Fundisha, Physicia, Kidatu Chapanza, Chapili Chapatu Machane, Nakemia, Kidatu Chapanza, Chapili Chapatu Chane, Kuni and the Lea Kwamba, Noban Tiongo, Nazan of Fundisha Kwamba, or Yea Kwatu Chapanza Maka Chane. Okay? So then, so it means that in physics, we get the subject of physics from where? Science. So simply say that this subject of science, okay, I can just write in this one because I want to show you. Where does physics come from? Okay? So science gives us three subjects: physics, chemistry, and logic, knowledge. Okay? So then we say that we have physics. Right? So in case of physics, we say that uh, uh, or level subject, or level, it means that John Gandhi, ordinary level, but or level physics is subjects. Okay, physics is subjects. The subjects of what? Okay, physics is subjects. So, what does it mean? We mean that here now we have science, or we had science, we have some other science. So say we look at some of physics. Okay, but the subject of physics in all level also gives us three subjects. Four, not three, excuse me. Four subjects. Okay. So we have what? We have physics, we have physics here, physics from one. We have also physics from two. And what news also I'm going to teach you? We have also physics in, physics in form three. We have also physics in form four. Okay? So let me write clear. There I wanted just to show you. Oh hapo manake some of physics in Elena secondary does it cut Nake in a masomo angapi mani. So we say that there are three, four, not three, four subjects of physics in all level education. In ordinary level education. These are higher me, these are the first one physics, physics from one, the second subject physics, which I'm going to teach you, physics from two, the second subject is called the physics. Form three, and the fourth subject is called the physics form four. Okay, so you have those four subjects. So today we are learning physics for one. And if you have finished your copy, we need to see your students. You should have your exercise book. Should have your pen, your pencil, your rubber, and should have a good mindset. I'm talking about the phones and bow, makini, last morning after the lap, last morning and liquor, natural and liquor bowl, and we know this is a So then, before we come to the first topic, I would like also to do the general concept. So now we have, so remember that. I just want to remind you. We have a subject of science, a marine science, primary school. Then we say that here we have 
semi subject, but one of the subject is what? Called what? Physics. Say physics. Okay? Say physics. Nick sema say physics, when I can say my physics. Okay? So the subject of physics also generated what three, no, four subjects. Okay? We say that we have four subjects. The first one is called what? Physics form one. The second one is called the physics form two. Form two. And then the third subject is called the physics form three. Okay, so on the third, the physics form three. And the last subject in all of us called the physics form four. And the good news, I'm going to teach you all the four subjects in this online platform. Robert and Gemma, that foundation was a Mohammed to my name, Katika Fumo Huru, Wa Kandawa Internet. So, so then, Kataka, what we talk about science, we physics, we have physics form one. Or Taka to Shuka Pachini. To Shuka Pachini, physics in a topic in our written right of Mada, Tisa, physics are form one. In a mother gabi, Tisa. Or when I can happen as a tabia, like in the study to a one, two, three, or a first little torture, or just read the initial letters. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So here can have one as an initial letter. Nine. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So the physics from one, it is nine topics. In a mother gabi, Tisa. The first one is called the introduction to physics, which I'm going to start teaching you. The second one is called the introduction to laboratory practice. The second one is called the measurements on Anika M. The first topic is called the force. The fifth topic is called the Archimedes principle. The sixth topic is called properties of matter. The seventh topic is called the pressure. So I can write just a bit to distinguish this. And the eighth topic is called the work energy and the power and then the last topic is called the light physics ya kidato cha kwanza ina mada tisa mambo ni sikiliza hata copy acha copy akuona hapo na una una nakili au sikilize elewa alafu unaandika sababu hii ni video kwa unaweza kaelimia mara nyingi kama utakavyoenda physics nimesema physics inatoka katika somo la science ya shule ya msingi kwa hapa naweza nikaandika Primary education. Why would you summon science? Why would you say? Nanya science, you know, my son and Gabi Mesema, my tap. And I can come as a Mogani, physics, chemistry, biology. So, to get a summon of physics, Ganyake, Wangazia, all level, Manake, he made a secondary Gazia cut, ordinary secondary education. Unama summon manine, ya physicia. Physicia, Kilato Chakwanza. Inaitwa form form manake ni kidato. Fizikia kidato cha kwanza, fizikia kidato cha pili, fizikia kidato cha tatu, fizikia kidato cha nne. Hasa kwenye hii video au kwenye somo la leo tunajifunza fizikia kidato cha kwanza. Kwa hiyo manake utakapoendelea kurudi tena katika channel hii utakuta nitafundisha fizikia kidato cha pili, fizikia kidato cha tatu, fizikia kidato cha nne. Kwa hiyo ndio habari njema. Kwa hiyo nafundisha masomo yote haya manne na nafunisha mada zote siache hata moja na utafurahia na utaiweza physics na nachotaka tu kukuahidi kwamba utaipenda physics kuliko masomo yote na utaiweza physics kuliko labda masomo mengine yote sababu ni kati ya somo ambalo ni mungu kwa elimu ya kitanzania okay hasa fizikia somo la fizikia kidato cha kwanza lina topic ngapi tisa moja mbili tatu nne tano sita saba nane tisa ya kwanza ni kwa introduction to physics ya pili ni kwa introduction to laboratory practice ya tano ni kwa measurements na na yani ni kwa force ya tano ni kwa Archimedes principle and law of rotation ya ya sita ni kwa properties of matter ya saba ni kwa pressure ya nane ni kwa work energy and the power ya tisa ni kwa light au kwa njia vingi ni kwa optics Physics is beautiful. Physics ni somo zuri sana. Hasa hapa nimeandika v manake herufi za kwanza za kila topic isipokuwa tu hapa nitatofautisha na hapa sababu kuna i sitakujua kuandika a. 
lakini kwenye rational fuata nikaandika jina la kila maana ila ilikuwa nataka tukuonyesha kwamba hizo mada tisa nitakazozitaja zinatoka kwenye somo la physics kidato cha kwanza sawa tuendelee kama ni sawa unasema sawa hata kama mimi sikusikii na sikuoni sasa mimi hapa napo fundisha kipindi hiki naona tu kamera kwa kamera ndio ina ndio ndio inaniona okay kama una maswali uliza kwenye comment section usisahau okay tunaenda kidogo kidogo nitaongeza speed uko mbele muda si mrefu kwa hizi nazita topics say topics topics or chapters topics or chapters in swahili uh, we call this mana au sura mana au sura that meaning because I'll be using this word the chapters or topics okay mana au sura topics or chapters of 40 physics form 1 physics form 1 not form 2 not form 3 not form 4 not form 5 not form 6 not diploma so i told you in the german introductions lazima uwe na vitabu vya rejea na you should have a reference book and one reference book is the United Republic of Tanzania Ministry of Education and Vocational Training Physics Syllabus for Ordinary Secondary Education from 1 to from 4. This is the book we should have. Lazima uwe na mtaala. Kwa hiyo kinaitwa kitabu cha mtaala. Sasa kulingana na mtaala tunaanza according to the according manake ni kulingana according to the uh, new syllabus new syllabus of physics of physics kodi kulingana hiki kitabu kodi kodi physics is syllabus physics is syllabus okay physics is syllabus okay for ordinary for ordinary secondary 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 education for online secondary education from from 1 to from 4 right by tie tie means tanzania institute of education kwa mwisho wa kuno huu kwa hii na according to kulingana na syllabus impia ya physics na itwa inaitwa poli manake inaitwa Physics syllabus for ordinary secondary education for one to four by TIE. Manake ni si mtaala wa somo la fizikia wa ajili ya elimu ya secondary ngazi ya kati kidato cha kwanza mpaka cha nne. Imeandaliwa na nini? Na taasisi ya elimu Tanzania. Kwa maana Tanzania Institute of Forte for Education ndio hiki kitabu ambacho nimesema kila mwanafunzi yoyote wa kwangu na hata ambaye sio wa kwangu lazima awe hiki na hiki kitabu au kopi yake. Na nimesema kwamba pia kama una hauna hiki kitabu usiumie sana. Soma descriptions ya hii video utaona kwamba kopi ya hiki kitabu au kitabu hiki ninauza ninauza shilingi ngapi na naweza ngakutumia mkoa wote Tanzania. Habari njema. So according to this nasema kwamba there are there are nine topics. There are nine topics of 40 of physics. Topics or what or chapters? Topics manake nini? Sura. Or physics. Physics what? Physics form 1. This are is a topic ni this are so we have nine topics. So let me mention them. I will mention them in series. Nazitaja kwa mtiriko kwanzia mada au sura ya kwanza mpaka ya tisa. Nine manake ni tisa. Okay? The first topic for the physics format is called the introduction. Say introduction. Introduction manake ni utangulis. Introduction to what? To physics. Ambayo ndo hii ni meyandika. Introductions to what? To physics. Hiyo ndo sura ya kwanza. Manake tunakupa utangulis wa physics. Ambayo ndo meanza kufanya. The second one, we call it uh, introduction to laboratory practice kuna somo la fizikia uh, the physics subject is experimental subject okay 
production to phys uh, laboratory captures. This is experimental subject, and because this is experimental subject, laboratory practice, then a student should not learn physics only on the exercise book or on the book, but the students also should conduct the experiment. And these experiments are conducted in laboratory. When you have been in primary education or primary school, no any physics lab, laboratory, no any science laboratory. So you didn't do any experiment, except a few of them, and it was a demonstration. But when you are in secondary education, we need, we, you know, if, uh, when you'll be doing the, uh, the form four exam, we have physics theory and physics practical. Hii na ito utangulizi, hii ni utangulizi wa somo la fizikia, hii mwana ito wamba utangulizi wa maabara. Maabara, manake ulipo koko shule ya msingi, ulipo na somo, somo la science, lakini hamkua na maabara kufanya vitendo. Kwa kuonyesha kile mchoko kwa na kisomo, kwa mba, kwa mfano, kwa mba umeme, au nasana kwa mba, labda, kuna sheria flani, kwa mba, kwa nini, meli inaelea. Na kwa nini nikiwa na shilingi koini ya shilingi miatano, au shilingi mia, nikizamisha kwenye maji na zama lakini meli kubwa ile inaelea. Kwa hiyo manake haina maana kwamba kwenye maabara ya fizikia mtaanza kuonyesha au ina meli ah lakini kaanza kuona udhihirisho na uthibitisho kwa baadhi ya sheria ndogo ndogo ulizokuwa unajifunza na somo la fizikia. Kwa hiyo kuna sheria kwa sababu vile kuna vifaa ambavyo vinahitaji kutunzwa na vile vifaa pia vinaweza vikamuumiza wanafunzi wakati wanapofanya kwa hiyo ndivyo ninavyokupa utangulizi wa kwamba utakuta nini kwenye maabara ya fizikia kwa no maana introductions kwa maana to practice mada ya tatu is called the measurement measurement say measurements measurements say measurements measurements say measurements say measurements measurements manake Pimo. Hii ni kati ya topic ndio topic ni mada ndefu kuliko mada zote za fizikia. Kwenye measurements tutasoma vitu vingi sana. Tutasoma mambo ya density, mambo ya relative density, tutasoma pia a uh, uh, mambo mbalimbali ya vifaa, baadhi ya vifaa ambavyo vinatumika. Kwa hiyo tutajifunza vitu vingi na tutakuwa pamoja. Inaitwa measurements. The first topic is called for so this is, measurements is one of the long longest topic in for the physics for one. It's the longest topic for physics for one, believe me, because it comprises different concepts. So, I'll, but don't worry, I'll be guiding you and teaching you step by step so you enjoy it. Okay? So then we have what is, the first topic which is called what is, force. Say force. Force manake ni nikani. Okay? Nake hii ni maana ambata nifunza aina mbalimbali za force na physics kwa kweli inahusu sana mambo ya force au mambo ya kani. Okay? Mada ya tano inaitwa Archimedes. Say Archimedes. Archimedes principle. Kwa hiyo inaitwa Archimedes principle, principle maana yake ni kanuni ya Archimedes and the law of flotation. Kwa hiyo law of flotation, the law of flotation. Mada na ena haraka sana, sijari, video ipo, utaiangalia yu video, na kurudia mara kwa mara, paka utaiwa na chofundisha. Made this principle and law of flotation. Made this principle and law of flotation. Ok? Hiyo na mada ya tamu. Hii itatueleza kwa mba kwa nini boti au medi ya mbae 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 kati shilingi kumi, kitumukiza kwenye mahi, inazama. Kwa itatueleza. Lakini pia itatueleza kwa mba kwa nini jiwe, au kwa nini ki, kwa nini chaki, kwa nini, kwa mba labda nikiwa na his punch, nikitumukiza kwenye mahi, inaelea. Lakini, nikiwa tuna, kijue kidogo, nikitumukiza kwenye mahi, inazama. Kwa hui mwana science, and I try to make this principle, and find a magaribu wa hali. So in this first topic, we'll be getting the answers of the physics phenomena. And one of the physics phenomena we'll be discussing about the stuff or we call them vehicles which are moving 
in oceans or seas, right? So that's what, so you will, you will get the answer why a ship or a boat is floating, why a stone or just a coin of 500 of any country is sinking in water. Okay? The sixth topic is called the properties of matter. Properties of what? Of matters. Properties of matter. So properties of matter, what does it mean? Manake sifa za mother. Shule am seeing it to be funza aina tatu za mother. Mother ya bisi, mother kinyenika, na mother ages. Huku tunabadilisha tu lugha. Mother ya bisi naita soli, mother kinyenika naita liquid, mother ages naita gas. Na na au lugha tunabadilika. So uh, in in primary education we learn about properties of matter. We learn about soli, liquid and what and gas. Also, we'll be covering some uh, some of the issues of about the force between the molecules, so between those properties of matter, so between the particles of the solid particle, liquid particle, and gas particle. So don't worry, I'll be taking you slowly because I know what you have learned in primary education, and I will translate it in simple language in secondary education. So that's the sixth topic. Right? Very interesting topic, and we'll be learning. And I want to tell you in advance, believe me. Or not. If you want to be a scientist, you want to be a doctor, you want to be an engineer, you want to be a pilot, you want to be uh, maybe a pharmacist, you want to, wherever that is who you want to be, but in science and mathematics, what I'm teaching you in Form 1, you have to keep it for the rest of your life, even if you'll be doing your PhD studies, or it means your doctorate studies in any field of your specialist in science or mathematics. You will recall and you need this concept that you are covering right now in Form 1. Nobody who had told me. But I was going back several times and reviewing the material because nobody who had told me that I will find the contents or the materials I'm learning in Form 1 when I go to uh, undergraduate level. Nini Nacho Mahanisha nasema hivi, haya, hivi tunako kufundisha kwenye ilimu hii ya fizikia au somola fizikia kinatu chapanza. Unatakia kuyatunza hata kama ukimaliza mitiani ya kinatu cha panza na ya pili na hata ukimaliza kinatu cha netunza hii vitu kwa sababu kama una maono ya kuja kuwa mwana sayansi au muhandisi au kuwa mwalimu wa sayansi au kuwa mwana isabati au kuwa mwana farmasia mwana hake mtala mamadawa kwa tibu wanadamu unataka kuwa kwa mba labda mtala mamadawa kwa tibu wanyama kwa tibu mimea kwa kuwa daktari kwa kuwa daktari wa meno kwa kuwa kuyo Haijalisi kwa mwanda kuwa fundi wa magari, mwanda kuwa pilot, mwanda kuwa urbani, mwanda kuwa captains, mwanda kuwa holder wa meli. Haya masomo na hii vitu utakutana navyo kani unavyo endele. Kwa hiyo usivitupe na usiatupe madaftari yako bali ya tunze. Na ukifika tu kidato cha tano au kifika ngazi ya stashahada ambani tuwa diploma, mwaka wa kwanza utakumbuka na chopambia ni. The seventh topic is called the pressure. Say pressure. Pressure, this is not a new term for Swahili speakers. Ah, mi wana pressure. Pressure me panda. Pressure me shuka. Hasa hiyo ni biological pressure. Na uzumzia pressure, na uzumzia kwamba shule ya msingi kilisoma madu na ito wa mgandamizo. Saan? Kwa mgandamizo. Kwa kuna mgandamizo, na mgandamiza kitu wa mbacho ni hewa, au kiminika mgandamizo, kiminika mgandamizo, kabisi. Kuna hita nini? Kwa hii ndo madu na hitwa pressure ni madu ya saba. So the seven top is called the pressure. We are not talking about high pressure and low pressure. No, we are not talking about that. Maybe for example, my mother or my father is suffering high, high blood pressure or low blood pressure. We are not talking about that. That is all in biology. When we be learning about biology, will cover, especially biology of form. It's very interesting. You'll be getting the answer why you are our parents, our grandfathers, grandmothers, they suffer hypertension, means high blood pressure, right? Why are they suffering low blood pressure, high blood pressure, etc., 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 etc. So this is the eighth topic. Then the, the seventh topic. The eighth topic is called work. What the means of work? Work manake kazi. And then energy. What the means of energy? Energy manake. Mbufu, you used to have, used to drink energy. Eh? 
you say that let me drink energy and and then and uh, saving is called the power 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 so uh, we teach about work energy and logic and power kwa hii ni mali inaitwa kazi nguvu na hii pia ni nguvu lakini nguvu yake aina yake nyingine tofauti the last topic mada ya mwisho inaitwa light light kwa swahili maana yake nini mwanga kwa tasoma mwanga kwa shule ya msingi ulisoma mwanga eh kuna aina gapi za mwanga au mwanga ukigonga mahali fulani una una waksiwa kwa mwanga kwa mwanga umeaksiwa au mwanga unapita kwa kujifunza hiyo vitu mbalimbali sasa hapa kujifunza kwa lugha ya Kiingereza hii ndio maana yake ya mwisho na i want to give you a promise I'm going to teach you from the first topic to the last topic. Ona kupa ahadi kwamba nitafundisha somo hili kuanzia mada ya kwanza mpaka mada ya mwisho. Kila sehemu na nikifundisha na tukifanya maswali na nikirahisisha ili upende somo la fizikia na utatue matatizo ya kijamii kwa sababu kuna tatizo la kusudia utatue. Okay? If you have any question, ask in the comment section. Okay? So those are the nine topics of physics for one. Hizo ni mada tisa za physics kidato cha kwanza. Kwa tukiweza kuzisoma hizo nake tutakuwa tumefanikiwa katika somo letu. Okay? So then kwa sasa hivi twende katika mada yetu ya kwanza. Inaitwa introduction to the physics. Kwa hii inaitwa na maana kaandika hapa topic or chapter 1 introduction to physics. Kwa ngoja niandike hapa topic or chapter chapter 1. Scroll good introduction. Introduction to the physics. Introduction to physics. Introduction to physics. So in this topic of chapter 1 we say that we have some topics we have some topics okay kwa sababu hapa nataka niseme kwamba sub topics of ah uh, kwa sub topics sub topics maana yake ni mada vidogo nanya mada kuu kwa hiyo mada kuu inaitwa nini introduction to physics sub topics of 40 of introduction say sub topics topics of full introduction. Introduction manake nini? Mtangulizi. Kwa hii introductions to physics manake mtangulizi. Ngoja niwasaidie ndugu zangu wale wa Kiswahili kama ni mtangulizi wa nini? Wa fizikia. Sababu najua <laughs> na mimi pia nilikuwa niko kidato cha kwanza na introduction kwa shida kidogo. Some topics of 40 introduction of what? Of physics actions of physics okay as the introductions of physics what we say so we say that according to the akulingana according to the new syllabus new syllabus new syllabus of what of physics physics for ordinary secondary education for one to form four of Tanzania so it says that there are kuna there are maana kuna there are three there are two there are only two subtopics maana kuna vijana vidogo really two subtopics of 40 of physics okay of physics The first one is called 1.1. The kwanza ni the concept of physics. Say the concept of physics. The concept of physics. Hii inamaanisha nini? Utangulizi wa fizikia. The concept of what? Of physics. Hiyo ni mada, hiyo ni mada au mada ndogo. Introduction to physics ni mada kubwa. Sorry. Okay. Ya pili. The second one, second subtopic is called the uh is called the applications of physics in real life. 
applications applications manake ni applications manake matumizi ya physics applications of physics applications of physics in real life real life manake ni maisha halisi applications of physics in what in real life kwa kumbe aha so kumbe tukiwa na maana yetu ya introduction introduction to physics tukiwa na maana yetu ya introduction to physics manake tunapata ni mada hii kwanza ni twaje the concept of what tangulizo wa physics the concept of physics alafu na pili we call it applications applications of what of physics in what in real life katika maisha nini halisi kwa na copy hapa kwa hiyo ukitaka kwa sababu hii ni video tunatazama tutaka kukopi unasimamisha copy kumaliza unaendelea sawa sio sawa oh mwalimu anafundisha haraka hii ni video kwa video unaweza kusimamisha ukairudia na kuirudia mpaka unaelewa vitu ninavyosema rudi hata mara kumi kwa uzuri wa kujifunza kupitia video kwa sababu ukijifunza darasani kama hujaelewa ikitoka imetoka hivi okay so you have two subtopics sasa pia tunapo katika hizi subtopics au hizi mada vidogo alafu tunasoma kuna malengo ambayo taasisi ya elimu ya Tanzania imetuelekeza sisi walimu tuhakikishe kwamba mwanafunzi anafikia hayo malengo kwa kiingereza naita specific objectives kwa kila kwenye mada ndogo kwenye hii mada ya kwanza ya concept of physics kuna malengo ambayo naita specific objectives yako mangapi yako matatu ambayo eh, yako matatu na pia kuna malengo mawili ambayo lazima wanafikia afikie kwa sababu tunaambia tumeshafundisha tayari applications of physics so there are three specific objectives okay so now I'm, coming, I'm coming to the part of specific specific objectives specific objectives of forty of each subtopic so the first subtopic which is what are uh, of the concept concept of forty of physics okay concept of physics i say there are three specific objectives that the students has to achieve at the end of learning each of these subtopics you 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 have to concentrate so that is so we say that uh, there are three specific objective a student has to achieve at the end of this concept what does it mean maana kuna malengo matatu ambayo wanafunzi lazima tuhakikishe kwamba anafikia sisi kama walimu na kwa tunafundisha na kwa tunafundisha kipengele hiki cha the concepts of what of physics what are those ona fanya quotation kwa quotation maana yake i'm quoting and all of this information you'll get them in this syllabus book uh page number 1 kwa nasomo ya fa syllabus book page number 1 page number 2 page number 3 yes page number 1 to number 3 kwa hiyo ninachoelezea ni huo class kuhakikisha kwamba kama ni mzazi unampatia mwanafunzi kitabu muhimu sana ili aweze kujifunza physics kwa mtiririko. Kwa nikiweka hizi alama manake fungua sebe na fungua sebe manake na mkuu. So that means I'm quoting, right? So the syllabus says that the student you the student should be able should be what should be able to be able to a na ke lazima nafunza elezee able to explain explain manake elezee the concept the concept the concept of what of physics manake kwamba kuingilia cha physics hiyo ni a b the student should be able to establish to establish what the relationship relationship 
the relationship between physics between physics between physics and other subjects and other subjects okay that is b so kuna hayo malengo mawili ambayo wanafunzi lazima yafikie tunapo kufundisha kipengele cha the concept of quantum of physics lengo la kwanza lazima wanafunzi au na uwezo wa kuelezea nini maana ya physics na kuelezea historia ya physics na je physics imetokea wapi na physics ni somo na namna gani hiyo ni lengo la kwanza lengo la pili mwisho pia wa kujifunza hii kipengele cha concept of physics lazima wanafunzi ajue uhusiano ili ende establish kwamba aonyeshe au aeleze uhusiano relationship manake uhusiano cut between manake ni cut ya physics na masomo mengine sifundishi kiingereza ila nataka utumie kiingereza kujifunza fizikia sabati a uh, uh, kemia pamoja na biolojia sa ona mara na detail iko nzuri ya sije kufundisha kiingereza wakati nafundisha fizikia nitakuwa nimehama ofisi na Mungu atanifukuza kazi aliyekuwa amenipa kama niambia nifundishe physics sasa ikifika kufundisha kiingereza nitafundisha sababu nakijua anamshukuru Mungu alinifundisha so the third specific objective is a student you a student of physics you should able to state should able to go to state what the importance the importance of what of studying the importance of studying importance of studying physics lazima mwanafunzi awe na uwezo wa kuelezea umuhimu importance manake ni umuhimu to state yani kutaja lazima mwanafunzi awe na uwezo wa kutaja umuhimu wa kusoma fiziki soma fiziki ah 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 lazima mwanafunzi aweze kutaja nini umuhimu wa kusoma somo la nini la fizikia hii ndio mwisho wa kujukuu hayo ndio malengo matatu ambayo mwanafunzi anataka kuyafikia anapokuwa anasoma kipengele au mada ndogo ya concept of what of physics ambayo inahitaji hapo. Oh, naenda tena kwa nini specific objective malengo ambayo a uh, asisi ya elimu ya Tanzania imeyaweka au specific objectives okay of what ya kujifunza kipengele gani kipengele cha pili of application application of what application of physics so applications of physics okay physics in in real life in real life okay in real life so we say that in, uh also tuna coach manupu kwa hiyo nataka kukwambie malengo ambayo taasisi ya elimu imesema lazima mwanafunzi afikie anaposoma kimada ya pili ndogo inaitwa application of nini of physics katika maisha halisi matumizi ya physics katika maisha halisi tunayoishi hata sisi wa Tanzania tunatumia physics kila siku kwa hiyo na coach na mkuu the student you who is watching this video the student should be able should be able to kuna kipengele cha a hapa kuna malengo makubwa mawili to explain the applications of physics in real life a to explain na kuna funds lazima aweze to explain b explain the applications of physics in real life applications applications matumizi kuelezea explain manake ni kuelezea to explain the applications of what of physics of physics in, 
in real life. In real life. Okay. There's many applications of efficiency in real life. Then the A. Now for me, you've got life efficiency in real life. There's life efficiency in real life. So the students should be able to apply physics in their life. We should have a cool. Kwa hiyo maana yake hapa lazima wanafunzi waweze kuelezea matumizi ya physics katika maisha halisi na pia wanafunzi wawe na uwezo wa kuelezea maana yake matumizi ya physics yani applications na apply ni maneno yanayojana katika maana matumizi ya physics katika maisha ya kila siku kwa maana daily ni daily kama una swali lolote uliza katika comment section baada ya mwongozo huu ambao tumepewa walimu wote Tanzania kila mwalimu wa fizikia anatakiwa kutumia mwongozo huu kwa maana nikasema kama ni mzazi unaangalia uh, video hii au kama ni mwanafunzi hakikisha unapata mtaala wa fizikia wanafunzi wengi wanafeli somo la fizikia na hata masomo ya science na hisabati kwa sababu hawajui mtaala unaoongoza wasome nini na kwa wakati gani na pia hata walimu wengi hatuyui mitaala. Lakini pia kumbuka lazima ina kitabu cha rejea kama hiki kinachoitwa Physics uh, forms 1 and 2 students book. Hakisha kama unakuwa nana kama huna nenda kwenye description hapa utaona kuna description katika video hii hapa chini. Bonyeza hapo utaona kwamba kitabu hiki kina gharimu shilingi ngapi na unaweza kaagiza ukanunua na kukalipia gharama za usafirishaji nikakusafirishia na kukutumia katika mkoa au mahali popote katika nchi ya Tanzania. Okay, that is good news. So let me end these sessions. Na karibia kumaliza ya kipendi hiki. Sama na diyo michoka. Kwa kutagia concepts. Kwa masasa nini kama malimu, ninakaa kuangalia nilichu agizwa na taasisi ya elimu ya Tanzania. Nifundishi wanafunzi wa kidato cha kwanza, somo la fizikia. So I as the teacher have to sit down after being given the guidance by the Tanzania Institute of Education. And even because the physics is universal, so when it's means about introduction to physics, it's well one. So whether you are in Serbia, whether you are in United Kingdoms, whether you are in Australia, whether you are in Asia, whether you are in A, whether you are in, in North America or in South America or in Canada, introduction to physics is still common. However, that is, we used to take a focus on what is on the syllabus of Republic of Tanzania. So don't get confused with mixing Swahili and English. Don't worry about that. So it is a beautiful language and English also is a beautiful language. So make sure that you have this book. So after reviewing this uh, guidance book and going different textbook, I came up with something I call it a concept. Kwa baada kurejea vile nifu agiswa kama malimu, kasoma vitabu balibali, kwa nikaichukua topic in mada nzima ya intolashia to physics, nikaivunja katika bupande vidogo vidogo, ambao na vita concepts au contents. Saan? And I get ill to fikir malevo ayot in order to achieve all of these five specific objectives, mean that you have to cover the following concept. This is according to Ole Jola. I don't know about your teacher, possibly it might be taking another direction. So this we call it, I call it the contents. Contents manake ne vidimana. Contents are concept. Okay, concepts. Okay, concepts of what? Of introduction. Manake to fikir to manake na ito nini? Introduction to physics. Okay, introduction to physics. Introduction to physics. Okay? Okay, so the following are the contents of introduction to physics according to Sir Olenjola. Okay? So the following, so we say that the following, the following are the contents, are the concepts of what? of physics. Maana neno follow in manake zifuatazo kwa hizo concept za nini za physics hii uh, za nini za introduction sio za physics the introduction of introduction introduction to physics. Do you love physics? Tell me in the comment section if you do love physics 
For me, I love physics. Kuna penda soma na fizikia, niambie kwenye comment section kama una penda. Pia niambie una uh, unaangalia video hii kutoka katika shule gani, kijiji gani, taa gani, wilaya gani, mkoa gani, kanda gani, kanda kaskazini, kusini katika tumata gani. Niambie kwenye comment sections nitafurahi kujua kwamba ah uh, manake ujumbe huu umefika wapi. Hai. So the first concept that I'm, uh, we have to cover is the one that I've already presented called general introduction. So general introduction. Mbuka general manake ni utanguizu wa jumla. General introduction of 40 of physics. Manake ni utanguizu wa utanguizu wa jumla wa somo la fizikia. The second concept, the English opinion, the culture of foundation. Uh, the foundation of the meaning or the definition. Say definition. Definition manake maana our meaning of what of science on the foundation nini maana science somo utakalofuata na kipindi kitakachofuata kipindi cha pili kitakuwa kinakufundisha nini maana ya science so the next session which I invite you in advance which is session 2 okay of physics for man it will be I'll be teaching you about the definition or the meaning of the science where that in science we get the three subjects physics, chemistry, and dirty biology. So I'm teaching what the means of science. That's the homework that I'll be giving to you. Define science. Nini maana science. How will you say that science is for you? Then the second concept, the third concept I will teach you about the definition. Say definition. Definition maana ke nini? Maana. The definition of what? Of physics. It's a little challenging to teach in two languages. Changamoto kwa the foundation kwa mbile mbili. Sura hili kingereza. Lakini sasa tunafanya hivyo kati ya mbilo wa Tanzania. Olivia. Okay. So the definitions of what? Of physics. Ambayo kwa mba tutajibu swali hii. Kwa mba what is physics? What is physics? What is physics? Nini maana fizikia? Si some to physics, physics, nini maana some of fizikia? And then the first concept I'll teach you about the brief history of physics. Brief, brief manake ni historia ya physics kwa kifupi. Brief history. Brief history of physics. Manake historia some of fizikia kwa kifupi. Tumetoka wapi? Alikwepo. Then I'll teach about George relationship. I'll teach about relationship. How does physics relate to other subjects? Is other science subject, social science subject, relationship, uh, relationship between physics and other subjects. Between the Luciano, Katia Soma la Fizikia, and Asomo Mingin. And as a and as a Subjects, as a subjects, as a manake mengini. Subjects manake so. Then the sixth concept, I will teach you about the areas of different areas of physics. Different areas. Physics may put up in your mind. Different manake in my name by different areas of what of physics. Then, the village of Saba, the foundation of the importance of physics. Minima umunimu wa physics. Importance of what? Of physics. Importance of physics. Alafu, the village of Nane, the eighth concept, I will teach about applications of physics. In the ninth concept, I will teach about problem solving. Tafanya maswadi. Then now, Kusu, introduction to physics. Now to kwa kwenye metihani. Mkati ya ujulize mwenye applications of physics in real life. So 1.8, I will teach about applications. Among the language of now. Applications of physics. Applications of physics in real life. Real life. Then 1.9. I will teach about problem solving. 
if I will find something which is meaningful for me at problematic problem solving. Tafanya maswali ya introduction in to physics. Manake tukifika hapa, hapa tunifika mwisho wa mada ya kwanza. Mbana ito introduction to what? To physics. Okay. Possibly you might be astonished or fearful about physics from the beginning. This is just beginning. Everybody who met with physics for the first time, even myself who is teaching you, I was kind of uh, astonished with the change of the environment from science general science to the physics. But don't worry about that. I'll be helping you step to step so that you may enjoy the beauty of physics. And believe me that it will become like a chorus of a, your favorite song. So you make physics like a chorus of your favorite song. Okay, so I would like, this is the end of this session. I thank God who have been with me in the preparations of this session. This is session one of introductions to physics, form one. Uh, and then I give God all the glory and praise who have been with me and who have helped me to teach you by using two languages. So it uh, was not a simple business, actually, but I thank God he has been uh, just intersecting along the way. So I invite you in the session two when I'll be teaching about you the meaning or definitions of the science and possibly might go even the meanings and the okay, definitions of physics and we'll be, I'll be taking you step to step. So don't miss the next session. Make sure to join, invite your friends, make sure that you subscribe onto our YouTube channel, and make sure that we meet in the second session, in the next sessions, and you have to make sure that you increase your seriousness. So make sure that we will be together. So nakushkuru wa wa pamoja na mimi, na nakushkuru mungu kwanza, aliyekuwa pamoja na mimi katika mandalisi ya tukuliki, na mwishu wa kipindi cha kwanza, ambayo tunaitwa demo introductions of physics kwa nani utaulizwa somo la fizikia kidato cha kwanza kwa ujumla na kualika katika kipindi cha pili ambacho nitaanza kufundisha ni maana ya somo la science na nini maana ya somo la fizikia kwa hiyo usikose maelezo mwanafunzi mwanzako wa kidato cha kwanza kwamba kuna habari njema imekuja ya kujifunza somo la fizikia kwa njia mtandao katika nchi nzima Tanzania muda wote na saa yote na mahali popote pasipo kuweza kufunga Ah, uh, na kile jambo lingine pia tuendelee kuwa pamoja na kuhakikisha kwamba kipindi kicha pili physics isikutishe. Watu wote wakutana naye kwa mara ya kwanza tulijua kabisa kwamba haiwezekani. Lakini ninachokuambia kwamba Mungu alikuwa mwaminifu ukachukua tukajifunza kidogo kidogo mpaka ukaiweza na mpaka leo hii tunafundisha vizazi vya sasa na vijavyo kwa njia ya digital au kwa njia ya mtandao wa internet. Kwa hiyo endelea kupenda physics endelea kupenda physics fizikia kama ulikuwa unapenda masomo somo la science kwa sababu nimetokana na somo la science na hii mabadiliko ya lugha yasikutishe utazoea utaiweza hii lugha ya Kiingereza uwe na bidii na ndani yako useme kwamba ninaweza lugha ya Kiingereza kuzungumza kama vile ninavyozungumza lugha ya kikabila kama kwa mfano lugha ya Kimasai lugha ya Kiswahili lugha ya Kisukuma lugha ya Kigogo lugha yote au kama vile unavyozungumza Kiswahili kama inavyozungumza kwa unaweza kuzungumza Kiingereza ukatengeneza sentensi ukaelezea wazo lako kwa Kiingereza vizuri wote tulianza pasipo kujua Kiingereza na kumbuka mimi nilipokuwa kidato cha kwanza mwaka 2000 uh, miaka mingi kidogo mwaka 2004 nilikuwa na mimi nimeenda ninajua tu good morning kwa mbali na good evening lakini unaweza kuona jinsi gani ambavyo nimeenda hatua kwa hatua mpaka na kuna imani pia ambayo inaendelea au kwenye vichwa vya watu wengi kwamba ukiwa mwana sayansi hautaki kujua lugha. Mimi nataka kukuambia kwamba achana na hiyo imani, ukiwa mwana sayansi au sio mwana sayansi au ukiwa mwana hisabati, lugha ya Kiswahili na Kiingereza ni muhimu kwenye maisha yako ya sasa baadaye. Kwa tukutane katika kipindi kinachofuata, keep on praying for me and keep praying for you. May God bless you. I really love you so much. Enjoy the beauty of form 1. Form one is, with, is a one of the fantastic class and enjoy the beauty of science and the beauty of mathematics for the rest of your life. So see you in the next session. May God bless you and keep you around up here. See you in the next session.